And certainly, the Christian media is a dying force. And he's living Excuse, his Wait, wait, wait. The Christian the media Christian is a dying me force? The Christian media is now going through its last very extravagant death throes. Jim well, and where, Tammy where, Baker where, where do you get these swaggered. From? All of the evangelists are slowly falling out of favor. And as we move into the satanic century, we're going to see Christianity's last gasp. You know that the proscription for you now is to be stoned to death. Unfortunately, I suppose, or in your case, fortunately, there are laws in the state preventing that kind of punishment. So consider this a spiritual stoning. Your ministry is dead. As you now have seen, Pastor Jorsey and his unity gathering of New Agers, shamans, witches, those with a form of godliness, but no godliness within, those who howl like werewolves. Those who are Satanists and government agents that have aligned together to carry out an agenda and not just any agenda, but an agenda so dangerous, your very soul is at stake. This is the agenda of the devil in these last days. As you read in John 10, 10, Satan is out to steal, kill, and destroy. If you do not know, Satan is after your faith and mind more than your life. Because if he can steal, kill, and destroy your faith, he then does not only have your faith and mind, but your life also. Even the holy get their lives taken, but they die as holy martyrs and go to heaven if their faith stays strong during the martyrdom that they experienced. But again, if the devil can take your faith, he can take you to hell also. And if you care for your soul and where you will end up in the end, and that is either eternity in heaven or eternity in hell, suffering under God Almighty's fiery wrath, then please watch this video and the videos of those like Yah Servant 777, aka Yah Servant 007, Trust Yah 777, Yah's Little One, Abel Waterwalker, Law Keeper 101, Yah Sheep 777, and many more who have stood up against this outrage of New Age, Satanism, doctrines of demons in Babylon, and New World Order Church. Pastor George C. is no different than Nicholas Shrek, for they both desire for the truth to die. The enemies of a mighty one ministry love to play this good cop, bad cop, like TJ Brooke 88, who is supposedly rebuking evil, yet aligns herself with the very same vile and wicked group of the Nehemiah Center cult and they are both working for the same police department, if you know what I mean. In other words, the same kingdom of darkness. For the only difference between Nicholas Shrek and Pastor George C is Pastor George C comes in the name that many call Yushua HaMashiach by, and that is Jesus Christ, which makes things more dangerous because those without discernment cannot see the wolf under the sheep's clothing that he really is. I make this video because I care for the sheep and lambs that are being plotted against and sought to be devoured by those like Neftali 1981, <laughs> who many look up to as a great man of God, yet Neftali 1981, a man who uses mind control to captivate the minds of his listeners and who howls like a werewolf promotes Pastor Jorsey as a recommended channel. Why would such a supposed great man of God promote such as Pastor Jorsey? You ask and say, well, why do you care so much about this? This is not Christ-like. But I tell you, did not Paul in Galatians chapter 1 warn about those who preach another gospel and said, let them be accursed? 
Did not Paul the apostle of Yeshua warn about the enemies of the cross of Calvary and said, their end shall be destruction? Is this not the same thing that I and we at a mighty one ministry are doing, warning about these enemies of God? Did not Yeshua HaMashiach rebuke the Pharisees who were the children of the devil and warn about the yeast of the Pharisees and for us to stay away from it? It's a game the enemies of righteousness are playing. There is a fight for your souls going on. And if you do not take heed to the words of wisdom given to us by God Almighty, then you will be led astray and given over to the coming Antichrist. And you're given words of wisdom like, and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works. And words of wisdom like, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness, and what concord hath Christ with Belial? Biblical commands given to us by Yah Almighty that are being disobeyed daily by the so-called Christians who dare say, they know God. Study and show thyself approved. Read 1 John chapter 3 and see that there is a separation between the children of God and the children of the devil. Yeshua Jesus separates the sheep from the goats, the wheat from the tares. Now I ask you, which side are you on? Choose ye this day who you shall serve. These are all my words, not Elizabeth Elijah's. This is what I believe the Holy Spirit has put in my heart to speak this day. I am not just gonna sit back and allow holiness to be mocked and slandered and trampled upon by these blasphemers, God haters and children of the devil. Are you? I'm gonna stand up for the truth in the gospel of you, Shua Because if you don't stand up, believe this or not, but New Age will destroy and is destroying that which is called Christianity. And look how many are sitting back and allowing this to happen. Now, remember, I am not saying that New Age will prosper against Yahweh God Almighty. But the truth is, if no one stands up, then New Age doctrine and belief and Satanism will destroy that which is called Christianity. Will you stand up and rebuke this in the holy name of Yeshua HaMashiach? For I say, do not be deceived by the deception going on on YouTube, but come out of agreement with it and allow the truth to set you free this day in the holy name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Hello everyone, this is Yah's Holy Ministry, and again, for the glory of Yeshua, I am presenting another video exposing New Age and the New World Order Church that is being established throughout YouTube, throughout the world, because this is the very doctrine, the very gospel, you could say, as Paul said, those who preach another gospel other than the one given to us by Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Let that person be accursed. And this gospel that's being preached by many here on YouTube, and I will show you and present to you how you can discern this gospel if you come across this gospel, this doctrine of New Age and New World Order. Everyone gets along, no matter what religion you are or what you believe in 
whether you are a shaman, a witch, a Satanist, which there are many of them, those in the occult that have been sent out as plants to deceive the people, <laughs> to deceive the masses by coming in the name that many call Yeshua HaMashiach by, and that is the name of Jesus Christ. It's that simple for the devil to do. As it says, and no marvel, don't consider it a great thing if Satan comes as an angel of light, if his ministers also come as ministers of righteousness. This is no shock. This is what the devil does. This is his agenda and the agenda of his servants who we are facing here on YouTube called the Bride of Satan who God Almighty has been exposing here for two years through this holy ministry of a mighty wind that does not belong to Elizabeth Elijah or any human being in that case but she she's just a vessel used by God Almighty to warn about such things to warn about the destruction that is coming she's just a prophet of God a messenger for it says in Amos 3 7 that God does nothing without telling his prophets first but anyways so this doctrine of new age which is everywhere including within the enemy's camp that we are fighting against in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for we know this battle is Yahweh's but just as King David of old faced Goliath so today we are facing these Goliaths these people that are trying to destroy the faith of many. And yes, it brings righteous anger to the holy. Because we are watching those who actually think they're doing the will of God be deceived by those who are trusted. By those who put their trust in some like Pastor George C., who is no pastor of God at all. But it's completely a child of the devil, a satanic infiltrator who came on YouTube in the form of a messianic Jew, but has his Sabbath services on Sunday, which is ridiculous, again exposing his fruit because those who come preaching this gospel, like Pastor George C., who does preach the New Age religion, and his followers as well, because it's not only a preaching, but it's by action. As it says, you've heard the term, practice what you preach, and truly, they practice what they preach, as they all gather, flock together in one spirit, light and darkness, come you know, they think they can mix light and darkness, you know, by coming in the name of Jesus and then coming in the name of Jesus Christ. They begin to twist the scriptures, preaching a new age, lukewarm gospel by twisting the truth and mixing truths with deceptions, changing the person's faith and belief into a new image, for example, like preaching, you don't have to do anything. Jesus did it for you. He died on the cross. You're forgiven. Just believe. And they take that truth, the sacrifice Yeshua paid at the cross of Calvary for our sins. And they use it as an excuse to sin. It's okay. If you, if you sin, it's okay to sin. Jesus died for you. You're forgiven. Like I exposed in one of my last videos, recent videos, where YouTube user Genesis to Jesus said that the Kathleen Bean's husband who committed suicide and died as a drunkard, died drunk, was forgiven and he's in heaven. Because, again, Jesus died on the cross for his sin, so he's forgiven. All mankind's forgiven. It does not work that way. 
The scripture says it is impossible to please God without faith. And if faith without works is dead, faith without works, as in we have to work out our salvation in fear and trembling, we have to work to have faith because faith alone is dead, says the scriptures, then how are you pleasing God Almighty with this doctrine, with this belief? When Yeshua HaMashiach, he said he did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. He kept the Ten Commandments in the Sabbath day as he went into the synagogues and preached, did miracles on the Sabbath. And of course, the spirit of religion, the Antichrist spirit within the Pharisees, were furious and angry. And because they had the letter which killeth, they understood not what Yeshua did. Yeshua was showing that he is the Lord of the Sabbath. He is the one who deems what is right and what to do on the Sabbath. And he called them hypocrites because Yeshua would heal someone on the Sabbath, on the true Sabbath day. And the Pharisees would say, you're doing work on the Sabbath when Yeshua was healing and doing the will of God on the Sabbath. That is the importance. Because, again, these people who preach, oh, it doesn't matter which Sabbath you keep. Every day, every, you know, every day can be a Sabbath. No. God Almighty specifically separated the Sabbath to be kept holy for His glory. If we read in Revelations, it talks about the holy ones who keep the commandments of God and the testimony of Yeshua HaMashiach. See, the enemies feed you one side. Oh, the, don't forget the testimony of Jesus. He died on the cross for you, you know, and that's all they will give you. But they will not teach you that you must still keep the Ten Commandments in which these idolaters, and I'll explain how, are lawless ones, just like their father the devil, as he will come, the very son of Satan, the son of perdition, will come as the lawless one because they are lawbreakers in breaking the second commandment of God. And again, going back to the New Age doctrine in which they form this belief and create a new image of whom they call Jesus Christ by twisting the scriptures, removing scriptures. Oh, you don't need that scriptures. You don't, you don't need that. That one doesn't apply for this. Just remember, Jesus died on the cross and that's all you need to know. Love one another and have peace and get this new age lukewarm garbage that Yahweh God is fed up with and they do this again by breaking the second commandment which God said put no other God before me by creating this new age lukewarm Jesus that they are preaching here on YouTube to deceive the masses and they take the scriptures like love thy neighbor as thyself and say see we must all get along we must love each other no matter what no to love Yah is to obey his, what he commands and one of his commands is do not be unequally yoked with sin with unbelievers with darkness for what hath light and darkness in common. Nothing. They have nothing in common. Completely nothing. And this is what the enemies of a mighty one ministry are doing. Those like <laughs> Pastor Jorsey, again, this child of the devil who has been recruiting people to bash, trash, and try to smash a mighty one ministry and put it out because we have been preaching the truth, the truths of the gospel. That is why this ministry is so hated. That is why you see this war going on on YouTube. And as many of you call it, 
a soap opera or drama going on. This is not drama. This is the last day end time battles going on. This is the good fight of faith where you have someone that you could be watching telling you again, like, oh, if you die as, as if you do suicide and you die, you'll, you're forgiven. Jesus died on the cross for you. You'll go to heaven. Stealing your faith and you sitting back because you don't want to be involved in drama and you don't want to stand up for the truth because you want to love one another. Your faith is being stolen and then you will end up in hell as you were deceived. That's, it's that simple. And yes, it brings, again, righteous anger to see this. That many of the lukewarm Christians, men, most of the Christian community, if not almost all of it, is not standing up for the truth. Is sitting back and watching the truth being trampled upon, the blood of Yeshua again being trampled upon, as it was spoken in scripture in Hebrews 10, of those who trample the blood of Yeshua. And then we have those who blaspheme the Holy Spirit nonstop, constantly in videos and comments, in personal messages. And no one except those who are truly living holy are standing up for the truth. Those who are keeping the Ten Commandments and serving Yeshua with all their mind, body, soul, and spirit. And this Antichrist spirit that is within many of the enemies of a mighty one ministry and those whom I presented to you in the beginning of the video um, have is the very spirit that Hitler had. And as you know, one of Hitler's lines, and if you did not know, one of his lines were, and I quote him, he who owns the youth gains the future. And that is another thing that has been exposed within the enemy's camp. Within this satanic coven, Nehemiah Center, um, run by Pastor Jorsey and his flock of goons and just ridiculous people <laughs> full of all sorts of blasphemy. Um, this is what they do. They are involved in satanic youth recruitment. As we exposed at one time, Moa 373, who was trying to recruit one of the youth at a Mighty Wind Ministry, um, a beloved brother of ours, Trustia 777. And it was beginning to show us the great depth of this new age um, system and movement that is trying to take over YouTube. It is trying to destroy as many as they can. For the devil wants to take as many souls as he can to hell because he is a condemned creature. That's why Satan is the accuser of the brethren because he himself is condemned and he doesn't want to feel like that alone so he wants to take others with him. And there's just much going on Please study the videos that we have done. There is satanic youth recruitment going on. Um, this again, the New Age Gospel, where they are trying to gather, though, like those like T.J. Brook '88, who <laughs> makes these ridiculous videos. Where's the love? Where's the love? And then gathers all of our enemies who hate this ministry. And says, let's come together and expose um, false prophets. Basically, let's get together and bash Almighty Wind Ministry and Elizabeth Elijah. Which is all they've been doing ever since she said that. And all that she's been doing. And so, again, this is New Age religion. Where you'll see one, like T.J. Brooke, who claims to be oh so holy and... Oh, the devil is so afraid of her. This woman full of pride who is under Satan. She is nothing but a child of the devil. Um, TJ Brooke 88. And then she goes and hangs out 
and gets along with those like the Mimica, um, X Resurrected, or whatever his other blasphemous accounts are that he's making. Um, and this man, like footage here, showing, I'm not going to play the song he did, but here you see as he waves a gun around, and more footage of him doing sa a satanic ritual against my pastor, um, who's Prophet Elizabeth Elijah. And the enemies of a mighty wind ministry condone such. You'll see them in their very comment sections. Look, here are comments showing that this is what they do. They don't, you will not see them rebuking such a man as the Mimica or Gluteus Illuminatus, also who's another blasphemer and a child of the devil who's been completely exposed by God Almighty for the agenda he pushes. And again, these people, all of them, promoting each other, seeking to deceive the masses of people here on YouTube. And it's being done by those like Neftali, 1981, <laughs> who again, many look up to as such a holy and great man of God. But it's nothing but a child of the devil who also promotes Pastor George C. in his recommended channels and Pastor George C. vice versa promotes him why would a pastor promote him? because he is a child of the devil Neftali 1981 who thinks he preaches the correct doctrine and uses scripture in this charming way in this good way and yet turns around and bashes the holy ministry who preaches repentance and like he says in this video clip here mighty wind is a group that preaches against the prosperity gospel they preach holiness oh turn to jesus live a holy life amen but you can preach holiness you can preach um against the prosperity gospel but don't just accept that from people and not study the whole fruit they have an end time prophet which is called Yah's Lady in Red and what does their end time prophet say that she's the new end time Elijah on this earth that the Holy Spirit tells her that the Holy Spirit is a woman which I'm gonna show you he says see a mighty wind preaches repentance and to live holy yet they preach that the Holy Spirit is female, basically saying that a good tree can give can give forth good and bad fruit, which the scripture says cannot be done. <laughs> Again, exposing this man. And just to really quick, just to explain before, you know. This ministry starts getting bashed again for believing that the Holy Spirit is female. If you read the prophecies, prophecy 89 and 90, where um, the identity of the Holy Spirit is revealed to Prophet Elizabeth Elijah, which is such a great blessing to those who believe it. If you read the prophecies, it says that it is not a salvation issue if you don't believe it. We are, we are worshiping the same Holy Spirit of the Bible, the same one who the Son of God, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, said will come after him, after he leaves. The Comforter, the Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit of the Bible from the Holy Trinity that is in heaven above is the same Holy Spirit we worship. Again, it is not a salvation issue unless you start to mock and blaspheme the Holy Spirit which Yeshua said there is no forgiveness of which many of the enemies of a mighty one ministry have doomed their very souls for doing so like TJ Brooke 88 this child of the devil who is a reprobate because of this and yes there is such thing as reprobates read and study and show thyself approved. Read Romans chapter 9, where Yahweh God shows us how Pharaoh of old was a vessel of clay created for his wrath. No matter what plague, 
who God sent to Pharaoh. Pharaoh's heart was hardened. That is what a reprobate is. No matter who God sends, what plague he sent, and Pharaoh, knowing it was the hand of the Lord God Almighty, still refused to obey God. That is what a reprobate is. And it is explained perfectly in Romans chapter 9. Please study this. But again, this reprobate, scum of the earth, TJ Brooke 88, exposes herself for who she is as she mocks this teaching of the Holy Spirit. But again, I will not get too far into it. You yourself study and show yourself approved before you judge and mock. It is better for you to cover your mouth if you disagree and just walk away. Leave it alone. Don't begin these marking, um, excuse me, these mocking campaigns, all these hate campaigns, and rise up and make all these videos and gather all these people to attack a ministry that's leading souls to Yeshua. Now, when you stand before the throne of God, how, how are you going to explain this? When you stand before the creator of your soul, who holds your very breath in his hands, how are you going to explain to him these actions? You children of the devil, I rebuke you all in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. For you understand not what you are getting yourself into. This is serious. Your very soul is at stake. And you have eternity to look forward to. Again, I expose these things in these videos because I care for the true sheep and lambs and what's going on within the YouTube community. How dare you think everything's fine and dandy on earth and on YouTube and you can surf around and watch any video and everyone's preaching such a good message. And they're all Christians because they claim they come in the name of Jesus Christ. And they claim to know God. Test the fruit. Test every spirit that speaks forth. And see if it is of the Lord God Almighty. And again, this is all I have to say for now. I pray again in the holy name of Yeshua. That you will take heed to this message. You will listen. You will test the fruit. The good fruit given to us through a mighty one ministry. Through the very scriptures, the truths of the scriptures coming to life. And that you will stay away from such things, from such leaven. From the yeast of the Pharisees that is being spread on YouTube. And you will see the truth for what it is and accept it. That is my heart's desire that this video can be applied in your life whether you are in a group gathering where you are questioning things where you question certain things that the one you call your pastor is doing when you are seeing such the same activities of, as you're seeing within the enemy's camp the enemies of a mighty one ministry and you can if you have not clearly seen it is the activities of the devil if you are seeing these activities within the group meetings you're going to or the churches that you're going to, then please, I pray in Yeshua's name that you will flee. It's my heart's desire that you will say, wow, this is true. We are in the last days. And Yeshua said, if possible, the elect will be deceived. How much then, therefore, must we be sober and, and be watchful and be cautious? If Yeshua said even the elect could be deceived, if the Antichrist is going to come, doing all these signs and wonders and miracles, and just as Elijah of old prayed and fire came down from heaven, it says in Revelation, so will the false prophet that is to come will do. How then, if you have not holy discernment, will you see that this is not of the Lord God Almighty? You're being tested now. And if you can't see it now, if you can't live holy now, if you can't do it now, how then will you do it when the Antichrist appears and shows his face and does all these miracles and signs and wonders before you and pleases your flesh with all these things? How much then more will you be able to see it? These are things to truly think about. And I pray in Yeshua's name that this will sink in your head and that the bride of Yeshua, 
will come forth and stand up for the holy truth. Again, this is all I have to say. And I do say, Bride of Yeshua, please come forth and help us expose and come against this new age doctrine. Help us fight the good fight of faith. I mean, fight for your own faith. For your own faith. Fight for your own faith. So it will not be taken and you will not be deceived. Because those who are deceived and die deceived and are before the throne of God and the last thing they were was deceived will not enter the kingdom of God. So may the truth set you free this day, I pray, in the holy name of Yeshua HaMashiach.